Okay, so here let's play around a little bit with the ideas of discharge. Um, and so bas the basic equation is that the, the discharge, which is volume over time, can be broken down into the flow velocity and then the area across which that flow is going. So V times A gives us the discharge Q. Area is pretty simple, it's just width times depth. So the maybe more interesting and challenging thing is to calculate the velocity. And that is shown here by in this equation where we see that the velocity is, uh, this is kind of an empirical equation. So this is for, for uh, units of feet and seconds. And so we have uh, the uh, this constant 1.49 and then n is the uh, table of roughnesses. These are here. So um, something that's smooth would have a small number and something that's rough would have a higher number. And so you just kind of look them up and uh, choose what seems appropriate by inspection. Then the uh, this uh, hydraulic radius to the two-thirds is basically the area divided by the wetted perimeter where the wetted perimeter is the width times twice the depth so it's it's you know literally that part of the channel that's wet um, and that kind of helps control the, the drag on the flow and then the slope is just the uh, steepness of the channel. Okay, so let's work on this in, in MATLAB. We'll sort of build just a simple a script to, to kind of demonstrate some of the main um, main calculations. So let's just start with, with something simple like the uh, let's, so I've got my script. I'm going to save it and I want to save it onto the desktop where I've got my other uh, where, where I may put some other things. So so it's just going to be discharge uh, script. So let's just say, uh, you know, for now let's keep something simple. Let's just say v velocity equals. We'll just say ten. And note, I can put a comment here. I can say feet per second. Let's do width equals and. 300 feet wide and then depth equals maybe uh, 25 feet deep okay so then we can just say uh, discharge say Q equals uh, velocity uh, dot star width dot star depth right so let's say save and let's run it so there it is so you see 75,000 cubic feet per second that would be a simple um, exploration of the relation okay so you, let's use the fprintf command to just do some reporting back to us with more uh, Kind of readable output. So notice I put a semicolon to suppress the output of the uh, discharge calculation, and I've added this fprintf with formatting to the nearest single decimal place for what we already know: width and depth. Let's just kind of start simple. So we width is 300 feet, depth is 25 feet. So now we can uh, write out the the velocity. Let's say. So we just kind of copy and paste here velocity equals and this would be feet per second and then we get rid of the rest there so we're getting nice reporting and then we can then do one more that tells us the result of the calculation so this would be discharge equals and this would be Let's just do it in uh, cubic feet per second, and then this would be Q. There. So very nice width, velocity, and depth, velocity, and then the discharge. Okay, so that's pretty good, but really uh, the hard part is going to be the velocity. So let's go. Um, let's 
kind of step in here we'll get rid of this velocity calculation and we're gonna use um, the Manning's N here so let's just do 0 0.02 this is the Manning's N for roughness and then we need a slope slope equals and um, let's use something like 0 0.1 Okay, so now let's go look at our equation here. So what we know is the Okay, so that'll give us the velocity, but we need to do some work first which will be to calculate the hydraulic radius. Okay, here, let's just look now. We, I've added, um, I've basically taken uh, the equations here that the wetted perimeter is width times plus two times the depth, and I put it in place, wetted perimeter width plus two dot star depth. Let's put a semicolon after that. And then the hydraulic, ra hydraulic radius, R, is just the area width times depth divided by the wetted perimeter so that'll get us this velocity or the the hydraulic radius for the velocity calculation so we're basically okay so now I've just added one f print f command that does wetted perimeter and hydraulic radius just so we can report out what we've calculated and notice we've calculated all these things and then we can print them out we run it we can see okay width is the same Wetted perimeter, this looks reasonable. Velocity is really high, 180 feet per second. This is too fast. Um, you know, if you think of watching a boat in a flow go by, it maybe it moves about 10 or 20 feet per second if it's going really fast. So 180 feet is too high. Turns out I think that our slope is a little bit too high. So um, uh, I noticed when I was out in the in the field before measuring. I might have a slope closer to 0 0.01. So remember, this is rise over run, so this would be, you know, one foot in 100 feet. It's probably a, maybe more realistic. So let's run that. Okay, now we're 57 feet per second. We're still pretty fast, but the dis and the discharge came down. So, uh, you know, if we do one foot in a thousand, now it's a lower slope. Now we're getting 18 feet per second. And maybe that's a little bit more realistic uh, velocity and then discharge. Let's do a few things. One, if we wanted to explore one of the assignment questions, which was to have the slope vary from, uh, you, you know, instead of being single value. So what we can do is comment out this slope, and then we'll make uh, the slope be actually a, a vector. Let's go from zero, and we'll go in uh, sort of steps of. Uh, 10 to the minus 4 and we'll go up to 0 0.01 so that's actually quite a few slope values now let's see what happens so what you can see is it actually the, the formatting uh, could do it so as we increase our slope you see the velocity is increasing and then as you might expect then so does the the discharge so pretty simple but what if that's a little bit too much um, too many words so one thing we can do is introduce a important concept where I call it verbose and let's just say if verbose is equal to one um, one if you want to see written output uh, comma zero otherwise so this is just like a switch, and so now we're going to come down here and wrap around our fprintf commands an if statement. If verbose equals equals one, do everything down here, and then we just say end actually to close it. Okay, so now if we say run, everything's the same. But now let's just turn the verbose to zero. 
poof, nothing happened. Okay, so all that did was it said, well, since verbose wasn't equal to one, it just skipped what was inside that if statement. So now we can um, just, I'm going to do a really simple plot command, and of course you should uh, use maybe a, a nicer one, but we could plot slope against Q, and should use blue since we're kind of talking about water. Okay, so I've made that slope, now I'm going to, and then I do this calculation um, to calculate the Q, now we can plot the two of them. Poof. So there it is. So we see this is slope and discharge, so you see there's a kind of a nonlinear dependence of the discharge on against slope. So of course now you could label this uh, curve and, and or label this plot and do more with it. And then the other thing would be to instead of using just a script to take this core uh, calculation of the wetted perimeter velocity and the discharge and turn all this into a function so this would be a little bit tidier and you probably would take the verbose uh, part as well. So uh, that's kind of up to you for the assignments how to uh, kind of make this more compact and, and maybe uh, which parts would go in your function and which parts would go in the script.